You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another fun episode of Ask Drone You as we send gifts to our colleagues. It's a good day. <laughs> yes, it is. Welcome to episode 1010. I like saying 1010. I don't know why. Anyways, we are really, really glad that you're hanging out with us today. We know you have a lot of options. How many thousands of podcasts are out there? Um, a lot of good ones, actually. And uh, hopefully we're in that category of a good one. We are. Today's question is, uh, is you know, one of those questions uh, that you would think is about how to fly smoothly, but actually we bring up a safety issue. Mm. Um, and... It's uh, it's it's rather a good question. So before we get to that question, which is actually about the Mavic 2 Pro or Mavic Pro, I actually can't remember. I wanted to give you a little information. We actually launched a new don't crash course for the Mavic 2 Pro. Uh, it also has a Mavic 2 Enterprise and all the new drones that are coming out will have that as well. I want to give you guys a quick look and uh, show you essentially what the new Mavic 2 Pro don't crash course is all about because we all know that in order to create a scalable drone program, you have to really be smart about everything that you do. It is is so important because you have to have systems set up for the rules of takeoff, your pre-flight check, avoiding emergency maneuvers. You've got to have things that really test your boundaries. So that's what we believe our Don't Crash course does. So let's go ahead and check it out. My name is Paul. You're watching the Don't Crash course. <laughs> Welcome to the Dome. You remember that, right? The Mavic 2 yeah. Pro. This is where we get specific, setting up the menus, setting up the games, everything that you want to know, even down to the tilt speed and whatnot. So we're going to go through every single menu with you, and then we're going to go out and return, go fly, and discuss conversions and flight maneuvers and other things. All right? So let's get started. That's San Diego. That's Florida. Hyperlapse video is completed. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, question. <laughs> awesome. Make sure to check out the Don't Crash course, which is available and included with membership if you're not a Drone U member. It's not just about getting your 107. We've got 31 extra classes on top of that to take you from zero to hero. So transform yourself into a knowledgeable and educated drone pilot who has confidence no matter where they fly. Join us, DroneU.Education. On video three of the drone crash course, 15 minutes and 55 seconds, the instructor says if your drone starts flying away, you can take your controller and move it from P to A. And I have the Mavic Pro and I've looked all over and I cannot see where on there if my Mavic Pro starts to fly away, what setting I can change where I can go from uh, GPS to Addy mode. Let me know. Thanks. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to send us that question. And so, yeah, it varies from drone to drone, right? And some drones might not have everything that we talk about relative to another drone. Yes. And before we go into why it may be important to have attitude mode, I mean, obviously we were talking about in the course that it's important to have attitude mode because it's how you avoid a certain emergency scenarios. And it's the only way to avoid a flyaway. In fact, we were at the Seattle class and a brand new Phantom 4 Pro version 2 literally had a flyaway uh, on Adrian. And it was unfortunate, but he literally put it in attitude mode, cleared the thing that he was about to hit. And he's like, He's like, see, that's a perfect example of why I love Drone U. If I would not have known what to do, I would have literally just cost two, myself two grand. And yeah. he's like, and the parachute would not have saved me. <laughs> <laughs> it might have saved the drone about 
I don't know. No, they need 10. like a they need like a hundred feet to deploy. So like he was only at sixty feet, he would have been oh, screwed. Well, I, but if it was a flyaway, it would have kept going up, right? And well, it was literally headed into a building. So oh, he literally gotcha. threw it in attitude mode and elevated because we always teach everyone thumbs up, buttercup. You know, yep. got yep. right out of the way. So I'm gotcha. I'm glad it helped him. Absolutely. But, um, but anyway, this goes to show that you know, drone you. There's so much content on there, and sometimes we can get lost in all the content, which is why we are starting the new enterprise. Uh, drone you membership which is a navigation systematic and formulaic way of transforming um, everyone into pilots and on different tracks but that being said we're talking about attitude mode it's very important for safety it makes us wonder why rob the mavic 2 enterprise and some of these mavics don't have attitude mode built into them because yes they're imperative for smooth filming in fact it makes flying so much easier anyone who's like i just don't understand why we would have attitude mode it just it's, it reminds me of one of those people that may not have the open mind or willingness to learn to try things because mm. you can tell they instantly haven't tried it because of their defensiveness to it. And it's just like, okay, make life more difficult on yourself. Like the only person you're hurting is you. So yeah, I think those people are probably the exception. I would assume most people get it. Yeah. But I think it doesn't do. necessarily mean they want to use it, but they probably get it. But yeah, I question that as well. Why these don't have attitude mode on them. It seems like, I mean, it's just a software thing, right? It's not that big of a deal. It's really not that big of a deal. But anyway, if you are like our question asker and you have a Mavic and you want to have attitude mode on your Mavic, just because you understand how safe it is. Well, there's a video on our YouTube channel. It's also on our website where it's like how to hack the Mavic 2 Pro for attitude mode. And the way that you do this for the Mavic Pro is exactly the same. So if you were to hit our YouTube channel, you can see here that this is the video on how to hack the Mavic 2 Pro. You do need assistant software version 1.1.2, which we have the download link right there. And that way you can download the right software. If you have the new version of assistant, this will not work. So essentially what you're doing, Rob, is you go into the menu and you change this menu right here. In fact, let me just go full screen really quick. You go right here to this debug menu and change that from a zero to a one. Hmm. And then you change debug enabled from false to true. And and then you get to essentially this menu. Once you notice that all this stuff opens up on the left-hand side, these uh, tools, DJI device, SDK, parameters, all this stuff does not typically show up when you're in DJI Assistant. But if you open this up, then you can change this little line item right here, which is the flight control mode. And essentially, long and the short is, let's see, yep, right there, that's seven. We change. Here we go, the 12 to a 3, and now we have attitude mode. That's <laughs> So, software issue. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're all like, come on, DJI, why aren't you putting attitude mode on the Mavic 2 Enterprise and Enterprise Dual when we know that attitude mode is safer? Um, honestly, I think DJI needs to get their act together. The Mavic 2 Enterprise needs to work on the DJI Go 4 app, not the DJI Pilot app. Not having all those features is ridiculous because uh, it's ridiculous. So... Yeah, I don't know what the reasons are. I'm curious. But okay, so once you've made these changes and now the bird has attitude mode, how do you access it on the on the bird? Oh, it's actually very easy. You just switch where it says GPS, sport mode, and tripod mode. Uh -huh. The T, you just imagine in your little mind that it's now an A. So when you switch the flight mode to T, now it's attitude mode. <laughs> he just said, I have a little mind. No, I did not. No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, no, don't be like my wife. Mind. Okay, <laughs> it's not what I'm trying to say. I'm kidding. Don't twist my words. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, didn't, I actually didn't. That's what you said. <laughs> I guess it's a perception twist. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> Anyways. Long, long story short. Short, is we did not put the hack in the video. Um, it is a separate course, but I think it's something that everyone should check out because having attitude mode is not only about smooth flight, it's also about safety. It's how we can avoid emergency situations like flyaways, and it's how we have ultimate control of the bird. Like, for example, if the GPS is having a hard time staying steady in the wind, attitude mode will actually let us fly in much windier conditions as long as we literally start our entire flight by flying into the wind and then floating back to ourselves with the winds help you can get some really beautiful shots so um so two questions one if there's somebody who doesn't want to do this to their mavic 
And by the way, this is a very easy hack. This is not difficult. This is not taking your drone apart. This is not backdating the firmware. Um, this is a very, 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 very easy thing to do, just for anyone wondering, because some of the basic changes to some of these drones can seem daunting to people. I completely sure. understand. Yeah. And uh, this is not one of those things. Okay. So that all that said, um, relatively simple thing to do. If somebody doesn't want to do it, whatever their reasons are, what does someone do with a Mavic or a Mavic 2 Pro? In the event of a flyaway, or are they just screwed? They're well. If they don't have attitude mode, they're screwed. Okay. Well, there's your answer, Liz. As far as that's concerned. <laughs> On that bombshell, that's going to do it for us today. I uh, hope wait, you wait, enjoyed. Wait, 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 wait! No, no, no! I'm not done. I said two things. Oh. <laughs> bombshell number two. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really a bombshell. What about the Mavic Air? Can you do something like that to the Air? Have you? Do we know? Um, maybe you should go grab it, and we will try it. Because it, we'll it uses the same remote. so <laughs> I want attitude well, mode on that one. Well, it's a very similar remote, not the same remote. But yeah. um, I, we're going to have to try it. Give it a, that's another video that we could make in five minutes. So Let's do it. This new system over here. Yeah. Love it. Anyway, well, that's going to do it for us today. If you have a question, go to askdroneu.com. And let me ask you, have you given up on being the best possible pilot? Because if you have not given up, you should become a member of DroneU. With the drone industry constantly changing and evolving, how do you expect to stay on top of industry trends and have more and more ammunition or different creative shots or different creative deliverables that you can offer to your clients? Well, if you haven't given up and you want a master flight, you've got to become a member of DroneU. Just go to DroneU.education and become a member today. Thanks again for watching. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask DroneU.